What's up guys, it is I, once again, Yusuf Al Sanad, and today guys, I want to talk about and review Juan Antonio Garcia Bayona's 2016 dark fantasy drama, A Monster Calls. A Monster Calls is based off the novel of the same name by author Patrick Ness, who also wrote the screenplay to A Monster's Call, the live-action film. And the story follows this young boy, this young, lonely, very troubled young man, Connor O'Malley, who is suffering from sleepless nights as he experiences these nightmares all the while his mother who he very much loved Lizzie Clayton she is played by Felicity Jones an actor I very much love and Lizzie is slowly dying of cancer she has received treatment but treatment that aren't doing her any good and her inevitable death is soon to come and the knowledge of his mother's death is slowly eating uh, Connor alive and those nightmares he experiences Experiences in those sleepless nights is taking its toll on Connor. Connor cannot bear this pain, this pain which is killing him as it is his mother. During the course of the story, Connor meets this creature, this monster as he calls him. I won't refer to this uh, creature as a monster because a monster is a very strong word. A monster is one who has no heart, no soul, and no humanity. This thing, this creature, is but a yew tree. A a yew tree that is made to heal. When Connor learns about this yew tree that comes to life as the yew tree was on the edge of his home, on the far edge, within a cemetery near a old church, there is nothing more that Connor desires from the yew tree than to have his mother be healed. Only the yew tree tells him that it is not his mother that needs healing and so the yew tree, the creature, makes a proposition to Connor. He tells Connor that every night after midnight he would come to him and share with him three tales. These three tales will leave a huge impact on Connor and he used to share a fourth tale. A fourth tale that is the truth of Connor O'Malley. A truth which he very much fears. This truth all has to do with the nightmare that Connor experiences and the inevitable death of his mother. Only Connor is not able to face that fear, that nightmare. The knowledge of his mother's impending doom. As you can tell by the very eloquent, very informative uh, description of uh, A Monster's Call that I've uh, provided for you guys and gals. It's a very heart-breaking story and it's one that really had me shedding a lot of tears. And the story of Con O'Malley is one that I really find to be beautiful, very inspiring and something uh, that I really found a lot to, to take from. His relationship with the yew tree, the creature, it's really amazing. I love the effect that's used on the yew tree. The special effects on the yew tree is so breathtaking and the voice acting by Liam Neeson, the great Liam Neeson, is second to none. The yew tree isn't just an imaginary friend of Connor, but someone who has a special connection to his mother, Lizzie Clayton, as well. There is more to the yew tree than Connor knows. He's been with him his whole life. Their relationship, Lizzie, Connor, and the yew tree, is truly a special one. It's one I found to be very hard heartwarming and very cute and just uh, very meaningful you know that special bond they have and Connor is in desperate need of understanding someone to guide him and someone to let him know that this is not the end of the world your mother dying is very sad it's very hard to endure it's much harder than anything you will ever feel but this is not the end Connor is what the U tree is trying to tell him Connor's father has left him as he went to Los Angeles California within the United States of America and Connor was left alone with no father and with a mother who is slowly dying of cancer. His grandmother, on the other hand, does care about Connor and does worry about his safety and is very heartbroken by her daughter's upcoming death and she does want to provide Connor the best care he deserves. And Connor's grandmother is played by Sigourney Weaver, an actress I also really love. Connor's father is played by Toby Kebbell, an actor I really respect and love as well. Every performance in the movie is really good, but the best, the absolute best performance 
performance, hands down, has to be Lewis McDougall as uh, Connor O'Malley. I really love this young man. He is so good at playing Connor. He really brings out the anger, frustration, the rage he has within, and how it really does manifest into this creature, the monster that is the U tree. Everything that Connor has been through leading up to this point in his life, his mother's eventual death, and her departing from this world to another life, it really is the hardest thing that Connor will ever experience because to be separated from your mother, to lose her, your dear beloved mother, it's something no child should endure, especially someone as young as Connor. Life isn't fair, life isn't going to give you what you want, and sometimes we have to endure the most excruciating of pain. You guys and gals should know that as a man who's been through so much hardships and has sustained many injuries in my life, the hardest pain no one should ever endure is what's inside here and what's inside here. Most injuries we receive from our body can be healed, but sometimes we can't heal what's inside here and here. It all depends on how we move forward in life and how we're able to accept, let go, and move on. That is exactly what Connor O'Malley has to learn. He has to learn to let go and to move forward in life, never looking back, and to know that his mother is watching him, as is the yew tree. Patrick Ness has done such an outstanding job of writing the story to a monster call and his novel while I haven't read it I really do hope to, to read it at some point and Juan Antonio Garcia Bayona did such a great job bringing the story of uh, Patrick Ness to life. A Monster's Call is such a rare gem. The story is so beautiful. The characters are well realized. Connor O'Malley is such an amazing protagonist. I understood Connor, his frustration, his anger and his emotional distress over the thought of losing his mother. The U tree in particular is well realized. I love his design and the aesthetics to the yew tree and how he tells his tales, all three tales, in a very enlightening way and the way he tells these tales are so well captured due to the effects artists who work on telling these stories. And Liam Neeson's performance is so great guys, I mean I cannot express how good Liam Neeson is. The reason why I decided to talk about and review A Monster Calls is because a dear close friend of mine, Rebecca, also known as Boobop 1987 seven has asked me to review the film and because she was a very dear friend to me and still is I decided to uh, check it out and Rebecca my dear friend I love this movie I mean no words can express just how beautiful this film was and I really do recommend you guys and gals check it out it's such a beautiful film and has a beautiful story a great family drama at its heart and the relationship between the U tree and uh, Connor O'Malley is something I won't forget for a long time and that's my review to one Antonio Garcia Bayona's uh, Monster Calls. Do check it out if you get the chance. If you enjoyed the video, then please like, comment, subscribe if you wish. If you want to see more from me, then please check out my gaming channel where I do Let's Play series, gaming content, all that kind of good stuff. Until next time, peace out, take care. Adios, amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.